never getting off track oh! Oh! I gained 10 inches in one video? <gasps> what is good? Good morning. What is good? Look at this. If you're looking at the video podcast, I'm in a, a different studio. Shout out to my boy, my main man, Leo, for hooking me up with this studio while I'm out of town. I'm out because of the hurricane. Hurricane's crawling. It's literally crawling. Poor Bahamas. First things first, the Bahamas, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know. I wish... Um, what I'm going to do on this podcast, on this YouTube channel, when when I know how to do it, when I figure it out, maybe in the next couple of days, I'm going to do some kind of, uh, what do you call it, donations, but fundraising. Fundraising, whether it's shirts, probably not, but probably just some place you can donate so we can use the power of our good energy to help them out over there because this is really bad. It sat on the Bahamas. It just sat there and dumped. And it's just underwater, basically. And so it's kind of missing Florida. So we got really lucky over here, but we got to help where we can. So just stay tuned for that. Definitely want to help out as much as we can. So just get your, your $5 ready or the next couple of days, save up $2, whatever you can do so we can help out because that is just way too much. Other than that, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, off, I'm off my little routine, which is good. Um, I'm rehabbing my hamstring, as you know. I had a little bit of progress yesterday. I walked up the stairs, and when I stretched my leg to walk up the stairs, I felt a tiny bit less pain. I'm like, oh, wait, I can actually take this step without pain. And I was like, oh, my God, here we go. Progress is in, in, on track. It's been forever. I told myself two weeks. I'm going to give it of no jumping. It's been a week and a, it's been a, week and a half and it's not easy. I'm dying. My, my diet feels weird. I feel like I'm working out well, but I feel like I'm losing balance by the day and it sucks. But what I wanted to mention was while the hurricane's going on, I can't get groceries. The power's out. I mean, the power might go out, so I can't really plan for groceries. Um, I can't really work out my normal workout, so I, I don't want to eat too much. I can't really do as much, as, as much explosive activity because I can't even run. So what I'm doing, what I'm taking this time. I'm always finding a way to go next level. I'm taking this time to go full detox mode. I haven't even had coffee this morning. Can you tell? I haven't even had coffee. I'm talking this fast. What happens if I take coffee? If I take a break from coffee every single day, I usually have it right before this podcast. Yes, it's good for sponsors because they see it every single day, and it's good for your health, antioxidants, different things like that, and it gets your blood flow, and it's good for the satiation of your hunger when you're intermittent fasting, which I do every single day. But I'm taking a break, I'm taking a break from it, taking a break from everything. I only take two supplements, amino acids, protein, and that's it, creatine. But I don't even know if creatine has anything. I think it helps me hold water, which I need. Um, by the way, this mic is like dipping down. I couldn't get it set up properly. So it's like I, I want to like lean up and be like stout, but I can't. So I got a hunch because I want to bring the high quality audio to you listeners because you guys are my fucking favorite. Okay. Um. So yeah, I'm taking a little detox. I might have coffee later today, but I'm trying the podcast without coffee. Did I sleep eight friggin' hours because the storm is very cozy? Yes. Did I dream about jokes and then I was on stage and I had a dream that I was in a car dealership with Ocho Cinco? Yes. And he was complaining that he wanted the car for free, even though he's a millionaire. And my dream was one bad review of some of like a car dealership and they go downhill. And I'm thinking that's just from one person. Like if they say like, yo, these people nickel and dime me for everything I did. And that next and like and next thing you know, like that, that's what they prided themselves on as customer service. And then next the next person sees that review first. They don't come to me. Snowball effect. They got no customers. But imagine if a famous person in my dream, I'm thinking this in my sleep, I'm thinking of this. And I'm thinking of Ocho Cinco. Like, I want this car for free. He's like, they're like, it's worth 20 grand still. You still got to pay off 20 grand. He's like, I don't care. I beat the shit out of this car for three years. I'm not paying any more for this. I'm going to, and he blows up social media. It's like, like, what do they do? They give him a free car? <laughs> what am I talking about? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Go check out my vlog. I'm going to snip this piece and put it at the very beginning of the thing. <laughs> Go check out my, this part right here is going to be the intro. So if you're listening to the podcast, it's going to be that little weird intro I put at every episode. Um, I gained 10 inches in three weeks. Wait, what was it? No, three years. I meant to say, ready? This is the intro. Um, uh, what's it called? I gained 10 inches in two years. Let's go. <laughs> That's going to be the intro or I'll try what, wait. So what it is, is I gained 10 inches. I went from 30 to 40. I made a viral video. I wanted to go viral, so I made one. And that's how viral videos work. You make them and they go viral when you want them. You just have to put the formula out there. And that's completely nonsense. I'm just hoping. I've never had a viral video yet. I think my biggest video is like, actually, I think it might be like up there. Let's actually check. Um, some of my videos have been pretty big. The biggest one is that one uh, of me 
uh, dunking six games, six game dunks where I made one. It was a pretty awful day. I was left right back then. I gotta, I gotta get a way better video than that. But, um, so yeah, I've had no real viral videos. How do I even check my own videos? Um, so, but yesterday I did it for, to help build my channel. And I think it's really good information because from 30 to 40, my, my, you just watch it, but my journey was pretty standard, but all I did was mainly jump, switch plants a bunch of times, get injured a bunch of times and uh, learn so much. So I'm going to make a part two. That's more about the details of what I've learned. I'm probably going to make it part two. I say that, but it's just like, I don't enjoy doing it. Um, but if you haven't seen that video yet, check that out. It took me a while to make. Uh, you can see my whole journey, my all my milestones I made from when I started the very first start day, even further back when I was five years old, and all the way up until when I hit a 40-inch vertical measuring, and I, I explained the whole thing. Okay, 332,000 views has that six-game dunk video, and my how to jump video, my first ever vlog, 165. That's not bad. And then one from not even that long ago, 74,000, one month ago. So maybe today's, let's see what today's is at. Almost 5,000 views already. Let's go. How I increase my vertical 10 inches. What should, what should, what's a catchy intro for this one? Ready? So you guys are in on the joke. How I increase by 10 inches. Um, oh, I got it. Ready? I increase my vertical by 10 inches in one video. Because <laughs> it's like one video, but it's, it's like a joke. It's a joke. I like jokes. I like jokes. How long has this podcast been ready? What's happening? That's it. Um... So yeah, I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do my open mic night tomorrow night because I'm out of town. I don't think they're going to have it because it's supposed to hit Orlando tomorrow. Prayers out to everybody who's get stuck in the storm. It's been rough. It's real. I was sitting in the park. This is what I'll end it on, some spirituality. I was sitting in the park yesterday because it was, if you watch my story, if you watch everything, like I said, all you got to do is enjoy more. I'm posting on every goddamn social media. Should I make an app for my own name so everything's in one place? You let me know. I think I want to do that. Um, I posted on Twitter a friggin' sun shower. I posted on my Instagram. I woke up to a sun shower. It was like super bright and sunny, but it was like raining. It was very weird. And then on top of that, later in the day, I was about to go outside and get some sun, just walk around, get some exercise because the gym was closed. I, I, I lose my mind when the gym's closed. I can't stretch. I, can, I don't know. I like going. I love going there. I could do so many different things. And it, by going there, it makes me in the mood to, work, to, to sweat. Um, so I was like, I'm going to get out of, get out of my house. Pouring instantly pouring. I'm like, okay, great. It's going to rain for the rest of eternity because it's a hurricane. Then all of a sudden, like an hour later, it just is done. It's completely sunny. So I go for a walk. I'm walking outside and like everything's desolate. Everybody left. Um, there's just trees blowing around. I'm sitting there looking around and like the trees are blowing and it's such a beautiful day. It's like sunny and the trees are just sound. I love the sound of trees blowing if you can't tell. And it's just, it feels like the earth is alive. I'm just sitting in there. I'm not doing anything. I'm just absorbing it. And uh, actually, maybe I'll put that video. Of the, I took a video from that park. I'll put it at the end of this podcast. And I just sat there absorbing the wind and the energies. And then I'm like, no, but, like there's a hurricane coming. Like if I was, if I had no technology, if I had nothing, I would think it's just the most beautiful day and just be loving it. And then the next day, a hurricane could just destroy all these trees. And it's just weird. It's weird to think that the earth is just moving and we can't control it and we can't stop hurricanes. It's it's nuts. And it's just weird also that. It's, I think it was because I knew the hurricane was coming, but like sitting there is almost like an ominous feeling. You're like, it's beautiful, but I know danger is coming. Anyway, da the, the, hurricanes are nuts because the wind can just pick up at any time. It literally could just, when the hurricane's here, it's like, okay, here comes the strong winds, just blows everything. You can't do anything. You can't do anything. It's just earth. It's just nature and weather. It's fucking nuts. It's weird that we can't like fight them. We can't like disperse some gas yet or some kind of like giant propellers to blow it back into the ocean what happens to the fish huh <laughs> all right oh yeah on this day in history baby let's do it oh september 3rd oh here we go we got a we got a single di triple digiter 301 san marino one of the smallest nations in the world and the world's oldest republic still in existence found by saint marinas it doesn't say what happened today i guess it just was founded today it doesn't even say that though um Today in film, 1951 TV soap opera, Search for Tomorrow, days on, debuts on CBS, okay? I don't think anybody that listens to this podcast has ever heard of that or will ever watch a single minute of that show. Search for Tomorrow? Speaking of shows, Mind Hunter has been awesome. It's about the minds of serial killers. It's super cool to see them pioneering that whole science shit of how like people's minds were. I love that. It's a really good show. I suggest it and recommend it. What was the other show I watched? I can't recall. Okay, today in sport, Giuseppe Nino, 1950, Farina, 
Giuseppe Nino Farina wins inaugural Formula One World Drivers Championship. CJ, I'm sorry, but I have to say this. CJ's into racing heavy. I don't know if he wants me to debut it, but here it is. Dude, I'm excited to see what CJ does with racing. He, he loves gaming and racing, so um, stay tuned for that. And um, that's for you, CJ. That update is for you. I'm thinking about you when I say that because I think about my friends, and I love you guys. Today in music, 1912 Arnold Sch- Dude. Tell me how this is not Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's Arnold Schoenberg's Fun Orchestruka, Five Pieces of Orchestra, premieres in London in Promenade Concert. concert. You can't have a name that says Arnold and the next three letters are S-C-H-O or S-C-H and not be Schwarzenegger. There's only one Arnold Sch, okay? And it's not Arnold Schnarberg's. Schoenberg's? Schoenberg's. And his freaking orchestra is called Fun Orchestruck. And that's how we're going to end it. And that's how we're going to do it. And the dunk lifer of the day is, let's see. Um, uh, let's see. Not, what's it called? DLD, baby, let's go. My dude, AD Brad YT. I'm pretty sure this is you. Someone commented on his video that he's the British Stephen Selly. So I thought that was hilarious. Now let's go to the quick last dunk lifer of the day. See if I see any funny comments on my latest video which is how i gained 10 inches in one video oh man i gained 10 inches in one video maybe that's it okay um this is this was i got to address this someone said um we need a workout program what you did in these videos aren't really helpful everyone keeps stuff like workouts a secret this this there is no secret and that's that programs are trying to make money And I think they're great. And like for me, I made a program to help a lot of people I can't reach that need a set program, okay? I'm telling you everything here. All the information is on my YouTube. You're looking for a program because you want the secret. I'm sorry, bud, but there's no secrets. You got to work, 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 work. Ask dunkers what they do. And they say, work, 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 work. And then when you're done with that, (laughs) more work. And that's it. That's it. Your eyes... Israel Coleman says, you're so inspirational. I love how you never gave up on your dream to dunk ever since you were little. And that's awesome. I was dunking, looking at that dog, acting like I know him in my backyard, dunking that ball to the Space Jam freaking soundtrack. And that's how we're out of here with that energy. Dorian, get the hell out of here. We don't need you, bro. We, we're good on our own. We got plenty of water. Much love to the Bahamas and much love to everybody that's going to donate because I know you guys are going to help me out with this fundraiser. I'm going to make it sick and we're going to have a lot of fun with it. I'll find a way to make it fun even if I just yell at you and give you energy. Let's go. Toodaloo. God damn, that was a good outro. That's Dunk Life. Oh, that's the anthem right there. Tried to make an intro, ended up making an anthem.